about APG. So if you remember to the last time, I said we were going to get some logging done. First thing we're going to go ahead and do is carve these trunks every single one. This is going to take a while, by the way. We're going to carve all these trunks into logs, and then we're going to take all the, the branches that we're going to get from that process, and we're going to go ahead and soak them all so that later on we can turn them into knives for trading, turn them into different things so we can trade them eventually. So we're going to go ahead and do that. What also we're going to need to do is we're going to need to gather up a few trunks just from wherever, probably when we go across the, the lake or the ocean. We'll, we'll get some more trunks and we're going to need to make blocks and turn those blocks into cups and bowls. Primarily cups, because we don't really need bowls. So, primarily cups, and that'll be for later autumn. So, when harvesting season starts. So, yeah, that, that, won't, that won't be for a bit, but... When the wheat does come around, I want to be able to gather it up and use it all, so... Oh, I'm moving it. I meant to push it up, but okay. Let's go ahead and separate all these branches out from this pile. Push them all into one big pile over here. We're going to have a ton of branches from this, by the way. Oh no, it's raining! Alright, let's carve this open again. We're gonna need a lot more trees. It took us, what, 58 to get how many we have on this side, so we're gonna need about 58 more. Which is a huge number, by the way. Maybe no. That's a lot of, that's a lot of trunks. A lot of trunks. So we'll, we'll have to get those. Now it'll take us a bit of time, but it will be well worth it. We will have a huge house. I could have a couple of different furnaces if I wanted to make uh, certain parts of the house specialized to do certain things. I could go ahead and split the house up between two, um, and, uh, two, two furnaces. I said two, two. Ha <laughs> ha! I said two, two. Yeah, we could split the house up between two furnaces. One furnace I can do the food on. The other furnace I can do my iron working on. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that, but that is something we could do to make it a bit more. Oh, we only have five logs over here. Something we can do to make it a bit more organized if we want to do that, but we can still only use one for every single thing. It doesn't really matter to me, but it can just make it a bit more organized. <laughs> and if you you haven't seen me play this game when I don't record, and organization doesn't happen. It doesn't happen at all. It's just a big piles of crap laying everywhere. I have like three million spoiled meats outside of my house. <laughs> it's awful. It's, it's really awful. The front... <laughs> my lawn is like a, a junkyard when I play single player. It's, <laughs> it's a mess. It's a real bad mess. Two tree trunks to go. There we go. Move these branches out. Move them with the rest. How many do we actually have now? We've got a little bit over a thousand. We should have like a thousand one hundred or a thousand two hundred. Something around there. Thousand two hundred. That's a lot. That is a lot. 
but we should have enough preserved food to pretty much last us until harvesting season, which should be coming up pretty soon. We'll get all the green beans, stuff like that, cloths uh, from the harvest uh, that we're gonna steal from farmers. So that'll be good. Hopefully they won't get too pissed off at us and beat us up, kick us in the face, kick all of our crap in, and then uh, exile us onto an island. Much like Napoleon. That, that can't happen to us, please. It's not gonna happen to us. Okie dokie, they're all made into logs. We've got to go out and do some more logging. I'm going to gather up a bit more of these dried larvarettes. Just to take with me so that way I have enough food to stay out here to get about 20, 20 tree trunks. A little bit of slender tree trunks because slender tree trunks are always good. So I also learned a lot about this game. Uh, but, but wounds. Ah, what am I trying to say here? Wounds can heal badly. They can heal back and like heal back badly. I don't know if I actually knew this before, but I now I realize it. Wounds can heal back badly. Say if you get shot in the eye and you don't properly tend to it, you just kind of leave it there to heal on its own. It will take a damper on your character's skills here. It will take a definite damper. We don't have a lot of smell and taste, but uh, that doesn't really matter. Endurance. We went for a bit of a nerfed character. We're not really that fast. And I didn't want a good character. I wanted kind of a hard character to play. Winter is definitely going to be a challenge. If we, if we started out in winter, that would have been a huge challenge, just simply because the lack of skill that we have to get food. I guess we could still make knives and trade for it, but then again, it's winter. You can't really do a lot of moving. Unless we have mittens and stuff like that and a lot of clothing, we pretty much can't move anywhere. We're going to have to move a mile, a kilometer. This game used kilometers. We'll have to move like two kilometers and then make a fire. It, it, it just wouldn't work. So, that would be very hard if we started this character in winter. I'm not sure if I could actually make that. We probably could if we chose a really good starter. Or, not a, not a really bad starter. If we chose anything other than Runaway Slave, we could have done it. Runaway Slave is really difficult, especially if you started in winter. And with a nerfed skill set, you're, you're pretty much... It's really hard. You basically just have to focus in on fishing, and you can get through winter. Just focus in on fishing throughout all of winter. It wouldn't be a fun character to watch. Granted, you could still do it. I could do it. It'd just basically be fishing until the end of winter, which wouldn't be too fun to watch, but that's what it would have to be. And you'd have to move along the coast of the rivers and stuff like that because all the slender tree trunks would run out and you'd need a constant fire going because you don't start out with any clothing. You start out with a shirt, pants, uh, a cloak, and some shoes, which really isn't a lot of clothing. It's really inadequate clothing. And who knows, you could even get shot by one of the Najerpes while you're running away. Who even knows? I don't know, but I really hope that they get working on that family thing that they have on their roadmap. The family, where you can marry someone and then have a kid, and then if you die, you can play as that kid. That, I, I am really looking forward to something like that. And I hope they're working on that soon, because that would be an awesome feature. I guess it wouldn't really make it so much of a roguelike anymore, but you wouldn't lose your whole world if you died. Which I like the idea of. And three trips. That's not 
Yeah. I don't like our combat skill set though. We're definitely gonna have to Oath of Iron the heck out of whatever weapons we're gonna use. Do we even have Oath of Iron? I don't even think we have Oath of Iron. No, we don't. So, <laughs> we're gonna have to get that Oath, or the Ritual, before we can even go to combat whatsoever. If we go into combat like this, with no Oath of Iron weapons, we're pretty much gonna miss every single shot. It's gonna be a freaking sausage fest. Everything's gonna be flying everywhere. It's not gonna be fun. It's really not. Especially if we don't have any followers with us, that'll be a real sausage fest. Okay, so, let's move our boat a bit. We don't need to be right up there anymore. Over here. Yeah, I think endurance makes it so that way we don't have to wait as long to get our fatigue back. I'm pretty sure endurance does that. And we have a decently low endurance. Split some this face in. I don't even know. 16 tree trunks. Ah, uh, we could get a few more. Let's see. 6, 12, 18, 24. So we want to get 24 logs. Or 24 tree trunks. At least for now. We've got 17. You feel unity with the world. That means we should be getting a ritual if we have a spot open for a ritual, which we don't. So every time you learn a new ritual, you have to see a shaman, and he will teach you it. Then once you get taught it, then it opens up a slot for another ritual. And I don't really care to go back to the village. Well, we'll do it next time we go to trade with them. So that'll be pretty soon. We're gonna trade for some more great deers. And if they made it so your animals, I'm not sure if your animals can, like if you get a male sheep and like a ram. Like yeah, if you got a sheep and a ram, I don't know if you can mate them or breed them together or something and make something else. I don't know if you can do that, but if they added that, that would be awesome. be an easier way uh, of farming and I would like it a lot better than farming I really don't get farming in this game at all so I get fishing hunting and stealing stuff from other people's crop fields which they actually do something about now so we're gonna have to be a bit careful with that they will banish us <laughs> if we pick too much They'll banish us. So we want to make sure that we don't get yelled at. We'll pick a few up. Travel to another crop field. Pick a few up. Because we don't want to be banished at all. Then we could possibly be banished from more cities. It'll just be bad if we do that. So, Oh, we actually have a net going? I didn't know that. That's probably bad. Yeah. I didn't know we had a net. I forgot that. Okay. So now I know. We'll have to check that back on the, um, day seven. Day seven. We'll have to 
check that back. Okie dokie, let's get these slender tree trunks moved into our pile. We can actually move the pile up a bit closer to the house since we're going to be using a lot of it on the house. We could probably go back and get a few more logs, about five more, turn those into boards and planks, or I mean boards and boards and blocks, yes, and then do some work on those. So we have 87 tree trunks, which is a big ton. There we go. Go ahead and get these up here by our house. So someone told me that if we complete the game courses, we'll actually get skill level ups because when I did that tracking one, I realized that it gave me a tracking level up or it increased my tracking. I don't know how much it increased my tracking, but it said it increased my tracking skill, so. But we won't be able to do much more of that since our combat skills are so bad and we don't have a bow. What are, what are these? Are all these all stabs are good? Yeah, we won't really be able to do much more of this because we need to search for wildlife, kill the wildlife, hide work, set a trap, get something in the trap. Not sure what the rest of them are. Trade, water course, a patch, building. Buy an animal and then buy a dog. Oh, no, wait. It might be buy an animal and then get someone to follow you around. I think that's what that is. Okay, dokie, okay, there we go. So, let's go out and get a bit more... Bit more logs. There's actually some really nice islands out here that I would have liked to live on, but since we already have most of our logs over there, I'm not going to bother even switching it. But one of these might be nice for like a logging base. Or, you know, some type of base where we can get some work done if we don't have enough wood around our house, because I really don't like removing all the logs around our house. I like to just, you know. Do it on other islands, do it somewhere else, and then if we need to, we can turn that island, get a little small house on it, make it into a smoky island, make it make it into whatever, uh, just basically a workplace, and that's what I really like to do. I like to set up different workplaces, and I don't like to do work around my really house, per se. At least with woodworking, I don't really like to do around my house. I don't like to get the lumber around my house. I, I'll, I'll do the woodworking around my house, just not getting the lumber. Because I, I like to have a little bit of forests around my house. Okay, so we'll make these two tree trunks into, uh... Into blocks, and then go ahead and make them all into cups. Tree in the block. And we'll split the other one. Drive our breads. We'll pick up some more. We've got a lot more. Okie dokie, let's uh, start making some cups. We can make another one, and then we'll get to bed, I'm gonna say. Yeah. Let's go ahead and craft these. I remember back when these were a very viable trading source, and you could, they were basically like primitive stone knives. You could basically trade them for whatever you wanted. They were easy to get, easy to make. I remember that. But now they're nerfed and they're pretty much worth nothing, so. It takes about a hundred cups to get anything useful. It's, it's not good anymore. You can't use it. You can use it for holding stuff, though, which is what I'm gonna do. Oh, 
Oh, oops. Should probably check that net now. so bad at that. I don't pay attention, that's why. Day three. Check day three. Right after morning. <laughs> I didn't know Forest Green Deers made that noise. So the quality of these doesn't really matter. We didn't get too good quality uh, from them, but it doesn't matter. They still hold the same amount. Okie dokie, let's get some more... more logs, so that way we can make those into boards. I need a bit more boards considering I am not sure, but we'll see if this is enough, and if we need more, we'll go ahead and come back for more. It's not, it's not that much to ask for a few more boards. Let's go back to our base. And let's start processing these into boards. This shouldn't take too long. At least I think it shouldn't. Once we split this one into boards, we'll go ahead out there and check our net. I didn't forget it. There should be enough fish in there now, so let's go ahead and get it. What? I don't... I don't know, game. I don't know. Day five, noon. I think... I'm not sure. You have to get it, like, the exact right time, or else it doesn't want to do it for you. Well, we've got our boards now, so... Let's go ahead and process these out into logs then. This is pretty much what's gonna happen until we get the house done. Then we can do a few other things like getting some more animals, getting our rituals up, stuff like that. Trying to get a few more weapons, trying to get armor, doing woodworking, a lot of woodworking, doing farming, stuff like that. We could probably gather a few seeds. I don't know if they'll last me until the next summer. I think they will. But we'll, we'll try to harvest a couple of those. See if we can't plant them or something. Start a farm of our own. That would be nice. Although I don't really do farming, so it would be a first for me. Day five at noon.
If you guys have any suggestions for music that you would like to hear, please suggest that. It can't be copyrighted stuff, so... It can't be like Eminem or rappers or stuff like that, so... Nice background music, at least, you know. Instrumental stuff. Because I sure as heck hate it when people put up stupid ass rap music in the background of their videos. I, I just. It's dumb. No. They can stop right there. I freaking hate it. Especially if they're trying to talk over it and then it's just bad. Oh my god, make the fire! Forgot how nerfed your fire making skills were. should make I think that's the same noise that a pig makes in this shut up notifications what the heck is that someone just sent me a picture of Legos oh yep someone just sent me a picture of Legos Okie dokie, don't know who the heck that is, but alright! Thank you for the picture of Legos! Okay, so we'll have the wall. We need that over there. We need one right here. And then we'll have it going all the way down. Oh, wait! Shit! Oh, okay. I already took it, so... I think I already took it. Alright, yeah, put it back up. Uh, day 7, noon. Let's go ahead and do some woodworking. Oh, God, I have all these freaking branches on me. Whatever, I don't need them. I don't need that many, so I'll just drop them here. That's why my fatigue went up so fast. Ooh. So having that net will help us out. So we won't completely demolish our um, dried food stack. Although we'll probably eat the dried uh, meat over our vegetables because those last longer than dried meat. move these back just because we're going to need to get that net again. stuff. I need to eat the roasted crap. I need to get that one at noon, so let's make this one in boards. We need more boards. I always need more boards. 
I guess they could do a bit more log. And then it's noon, so we'll go ahead and get that. No fish. Well, I'm going to call this an episode. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been a lot of fun. If you haven't... Oh, no! Yes! I caught that one. If you guys are having fun watching this one, please click on the annotations above for some more videos that I've done. If you want to visit the playlist, this is the biggest Let's Play I've... Oh, excuse me. I've done so far. It's been a lot of fun. If you want to see the previous seasons, previous episodes, please click on that annotation. Make a like, a subscribe, and a comment. It really helps and it really means a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Matt from Studio signing out. Bye-bye!